We are back with Ask the Mayor and Mayor Nancy Vaughn here in Greensboro. So this is one of the text questions, but we okay. were going to ask this question anyway. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the migrants that are coming to the Hebrew Academy, which is actually now Piedmont Academy? Yes. So we should be getting um, an update from the Office of Ref Refugee Resettlement on Friday. Um, as of this point, there are no um, children out at the site. There are some employees, so you may, may see people coming and going. One of the um, concerns that the surrounding neighborhoods had, uh, had addressed was that they were afraid of parking. They didn't want to have people parking out on the street. So um, the company has been very cognizant of that and they have rented two offsite parking lots. And so if people see buses, it's really the employees coming and going at this point. Okay, no children coming and going, it's the employees coming No children, and going. it probably won't be until after the first of the year that we see any children on that site. Okay, all right. Um, when it comes to other uh, questions, this person says, is there any chance the city council will reconsider the new leaf removal policy given that there is some widespread uproar about it? Um, at this point, it is not due for any reconsideration. Um, I think we are moving forward with the ordinance that was voted on a couple weeks ago. There are people who, who are very upset over it. There are also people who are grateful for it. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, one of the reasons why I voted against it really was for a public safety reason. And, you know, all of us in the city of Greensboro can drive down a residential street and see those mounds of leaves mm -hmm. in the middle of a street where it becomes almost impassable. That's difficult for our public safety getting to where they need to be. And how often do you see kids walking around? Now they're forced to walk in the street or people walking their pets. And, you know, the ordinance was set up that people were to bring the leaves behind their curb, leaving the streets open. And that never really occurred. In hindsight, if I had to do it over again, I think I would have said, okay, let's take this year and find people for doing it incorrectly and not pick those leaves up. But I think we're probably too far along at this point. Okay. Uh, this person's asking, as far as the Toyota plant opening in Liberty, the boom in Greensboro, what other type of businesses do you see following them to Greensboro and the surrounding areas? So besides boom and Toyota, we had the, the great announcement not too long about Pro Kidney, which is a biomedical um, technology, which I think is very important as we increase our portfolio of businesses. But what's really exciting about companies like Boom and Toyota is for every job they create, there is another five to seven spin-off jobs that come along with them. And they like to locate anywhere in the immediate region up to 60 miles away. So we're going to see places like High Point and Alamance also benefiting from those supply chain um, distributors who will be locating into our region. We're heading till the end of the year. Do we see anything major happening within the next couple of months? You mean major announcements? Sure. Yeah, there certainly could be. There was a big one um, in December a few years ago, which was the Toyota announcement followed right up by Boom. So, um, you know, economic development, it is a 12 month a year business. Mm -hmm. And there's all kinds of ways for us to have some like development and buy-in. I want to show the whole bull riding thing because oh. that was <laughs> yeah. um, um, some buy-in from the city. You're there talking about the bull and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then them becoming, you know, part of, you know, one of the main attractions here in Greensboro. Yes, and um, it was a lot of fun this past weekend. They sold over 22,000 tickets for the Coliseum. It was, um, I personally had not seen bull riding before we learned about the Carolina Cowboys. It's a very fast, fun sport, family friendly. And I know that they felt very welcome to the city of Greensboro. Mm -hmm. We have just a little bit over a minute. I know you wanted to talk about the NCANT chancellor uh, because he is retiring at the end of the school year. He is. And um, Chancellor Martin has absolutely been an amazing chancellor for North Carolina a and He has really always pushed them to do better and better, and they have continued to. They are working on their Research One certification. Uh, just two weeks ago, there was an autonomous shuttle that mm -hmm. was down um, in uh, downtown Greensboro, and um, that is one of first of its kind. And it's great to see what a and is doing and how they continue to include our local city. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that is going to wrap it up for Ask the Mayor. We hope to see you next month as Absolutely. well. All right. We hope to get your questions next month. Of course, if you missed anything, just head over to WFMYNews2.com.